Good morning children. Welcome back. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and safe. Now, we were in second chapter that is counting in groups. Let us learn to count the numbers in groups through the story of Seema's century. Century? Seema's century. Century means hundred. For example, Sachin hit century. That means Sachin hit hundred runs. So century means hundred. Now, Seema has made a design with different bindis. Oh, did you see that? Different designs. Now, let us see how many groups are there. Look at the groups and guess the total number of bindis and how many more bindis do you have to draw? Now let us see how many groups are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many groups are there? Eight groups are there. Now, now let us see how many bindis are there in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This group also ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means in each group, ten bindis are there. How many groups are there? Eight groups are there. So number of groups, eight. And number of bindis in each group, ten. Now, let us see the total number of bindis altogether. Ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten and plus ten. So total number of bindis is 80 if we add all those that is coming to 80. Now this can also be written as 10 times 8. 10 bindis in each group and number of groups 8. So 10 times 8 is 80 bindis. But Seema needs century that means 100. So we'll subtract 80 from 100. Now, 1's place, 10's place, 100's place. Now, we have 100, 0 10's and 0 1's. And then, subtracting 8 10's and 0 1's. That means, we are subtracting 80 from 100. Now, coming to the 1's place. 0 and 0 we have. What is 0 minus 0? Yes, it is 0. Coming to 10's place. Can I subtract 8 from 0? Mm -hmm. No, because 0 is smaller number and 8 is bigger than 0. So, in order to subtract, we have to borrow from the 100's place. Now, this 1 when we borrow it, it is one number less than that. So it becomes 
zero. It is cut so it becomes zero and that one will be transferred to tens place. That is ten there. Now can I subtract eight from ten? Yes, because ten is a bigger number and eight is a smaller number. Now what is ten minus eight? Now see we have ten sticks and then we'll cut eight from it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So how many are left? Two are left. Right? Two sticks are left. That is 10 minus 8 is 2. Now in the hundreds place we have 0. So just 0. Nothing is there over there. Now 100 minus 80 is 20. Now did you understand? So Seema needs 20 more bindis to complete her century. Century means 100. Children, worksheet is posted in WhatsApp group. So submit, complete it and submit your worksheets to the email ID 2A submission of assignments at gmail.com. Thank you children. Have a nice day.